It's that time of year to start thinking about family photos. And I know people are getting so creative right now. So we have an expert here to give us some tips. Janine from the City Moms is here to share three hacks with taking photos. Hi, Janine. Hi there. Welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. So photos are just always taken, I feel, because we have yes. our phones. But families come together and still like that traditional photo shoot with a photographer. Yes, yes. absolutely. <laughs> Especially right now, we know a lot of families are planning for holiday. Yes. There's, and a lot of families love fall. They love the fall photos. So it's a good time to start thinking through some of these ideas and yes, tips. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So what's the first tip that you have for us that has to do with the clothing? Okay. So we're talking about <laughs> wardrobe and this is literally the number one question we get with our city moms community, which is what should I wear? Right. So <laughs> when you are looking through a wardrobe for your family, mm -hmm. you want to ensure a couple of things. One, it's not too matchy matchy. Okay. I mean, I know all of us remember <laughs> kind of those 1980s, like every member of the family is the same sweater. We're, right. not, we're not going for that aesthetic. <laughs> so not too matchy-matchy, but too still comfortable. Right. You want to make sure it's something that, you, that you're comfortable wearing. You're probably going to be in this photo shoot for maybe up to an hour. Yeah. So what we've done is pulled together kind of a sample wardrobe okay. for this yes. family. Mm -hmm. So for this family, um, we're thinking of this as a mom, a dad, mm -hmm. um, an older son, and then a baby girl. Okay. So what you can kind of see here is we started with um, one item, which was the mom's dress. Mm -hmm. And this is blue and has a little bit of white in it. Mm -hmm. And we're using that to build everything else in this family's wardrobe around. Okay. So with this, what we're doing is complementing with dad's outfit. Okay. So he's got this blue and white shirt. We're putting him in khakis, though, so mm -hmm. we can add another color into this palette and start mm -hmm. to play with that. Okay. So mom also has these great gold heels. That's where her kind of khaki. Yes, okay. that's where that's pulling in. Now for the sun, we've grabbed this white cute. shirt, cute blue collar, yes. and he's going to have color um, similar to dad's. Mm -hmm. And think about this, too, because... A lot of photographers are going to be using filters. Don't worry if your khaki maybe isn't exactly the oh, same. Okay. Blues aren't exactly the same. They're mm -hmm. all in that family. Okay, okay. And then last for um, the daughter, what we grabbed was just this cute little jean jacket. Yes. It's a really fun romper. Mm -hmm. And the other thing you can think of is now when they start max, uh, mixing and matching kind of family members for photos, right. you know, so maybe mom's doing a photo with the little one, they still are feeling very cohesive without mm -hmm. it being too um, over the top. Right. Maybe. Okay. And same with dad. So starting with the color palette, building it out from there, mm -hmm. and uh, just making sure that it all feels oh, very similar. Oh, that's nice. I like that, especially just adding the new nuance of a neutral color yes makes it so important and who thought so I love that you said you start off with a centerpiece yes so mom's was the first thing and Correct. then you kind of build, build all around, around it, it. absolutely okay, awesome yes. and so give us some more tips so I'm sure people wonder like what is the best time of day yeah. to go and take photos so time of day is going to be critical especially if you're doing outdoor photos mm -hmm. if you are planning a shoot at say noon I mean, you've got some really harsh overhead yes. lights. You know that you're gonna have family members squinting. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, it creates a lot of really difficult shadows. Right. So photographers love what's called the golden hour. Okay. And this is normally kind of that nine to 10 o'clock in the morning okay. or more of that like four to seven in the evening. Okay. So sun is either setting or coming up, but mm -hmm. it's at an angle and okay. it provides really nice light kind of filtering through. Mm -hmm. um, and this is really going to be a critical time period. So. Another thing, though, to keep in mind with timing is consider your family schedules. Okay. No one wants to have a little one out no. at 7 o'clock at night if that's their usual witching hour. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you're maximizing kind of your family's um, best moments, I, I would say, right. you know, as best you can. So. <laughs> right. Okay. That's good. And, and something else I'll add in is that when you're taking a photo, always be facing the sun. Don't, don't yes. take a photo in the sun is in behind you. Like you have to face it so that the light, so that the glow comes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, so we have our outfits, we have our time of day. Yes. What's the next tip? So the last thing is with posing. Uh, and a lot of photographers are excellent at helping pose your family. Mm -hmm. You don't need to worry about that when you're going in. Yes. I think one of the critical things with posing is your photographer might kind of gather you into, into feeling, into kind of areas that 
you're like, I, do I need to be this close up? Do I need to be <laughs> kind of holding my child this close to me? Yeah. And yes, you do, because when that comes through on the on the mm. image itself, it looks amazing. Okay. So always trust your photographer. Okay. One thing you'll notice that they do when you have a large group together, and we'll mm -hmm. just kind of use mom again as example. So pick one member of the family to really, again, be that centerpiece mm -hmm. and sort of tuck everyone in and build everyone in around that person. Okay. So mm -hmm. again, don't worry and don't fret if your photographer is <laughs> kind of arraying you in a, in a different kind of pattern. Right. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Okay. Yes. I love that. And then any tips for the kids, the little babies and getting them to smile and pose just right at the right time? You know, with littles, <laughs> we always recommend bring some of their favorite loveys with them. Yeah. And also bring some of their favorite items like maybe a wand or their favorite backpack. Those are things that not only will you want to have captured down the road mm -hmm. because that was a moment in time that they really enjoyed that item, yeah. um, but it's something that's just going to make them feel more comfortable on camera. Yeah. So. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Yes, Janine. absolutely. We appreciate it. Good. <laughs> and if you would like more information about these tips for photo shoots and so much more, you can check out the City Moms website. We'll have it listed below, and I'll see you after the break.